Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I've released a video, so thank you for your patience and uh, sorry about being uh, missing in action. I just uh, recently had to uh, rebuild my setup. I had a bit of hardware failure, so now that I've rebuilt my setup, I've uh, got a professional microphone now, so my audio should sound a lot better with uh, professional inputs and mixes as well as I've now um, upgraded my machine to a much more powerful uh, workstation so that I can record these videos and give more memory uh, where it's needed. So it's taken me a little bit of time to set everything up again. So thank you for your patience and uh, let's take a look. So after looking on the internet a bit, I've come across Cynix OS, which of course they clearly tell us it's free of adware and free of spyware. So that's a good thing, I guess. And what is intriguing here, it says it's a Nix-based OS. Right, and of course, uh, just a whole lot of text to tell us why it's uh, powerful and uses uh, Linux and all of that type of goodies and why it respects one's uh, privacy. Looking at the FAQ on the website, uh, what's interesting is when they say it is Nix-based, I myself was thinking of, oh, Nix OS, but uh, no. Yep, that's right. What they mean is Nix based as in Linux based. So it is actually based on Debian Linux. So uh, it's of a disappointment there, but uh, let's fire this thing up and take a look at it. Okay, and. Let's choose the live system and let it boot up. Okay, while we wait for this to load, I've given it a 100 gig hard drive space and eight gigs of memory. Okay, a boot sequence that felt like an eternity, probably about three minutes, and it's now gotten us to the screen over here. Okay, it is doing something, just a little bit slowly. Okay, it looks like we're finally getting somewhere. So let me just fix the resolution. Okay, and here we've got uh, Cynix OS running from the live media. And of course, as we can see, it is running uh, XFCE out of the box. So in order for this to be a fair, quick test, I think let's uh, first install it. Okay, so let's launch it anyway. And uh, Cynix OS makes use of the Calamari installer. Okay. So, next. Uh, let me fix my time zone to LA. Traditional keyboard, race disk. I'm just going to just swap to file. And we've got the options of XFS, BTFS, XT4. I'm going to choose XFS. Partition, Y. Because I can. Uh, something different. Uh, we'll just sort it to the MBR. Your full name. Well, of course, it's Gosh. And we'll call this Cynix OS. Give this a ridiculously strong password. Next. Install it. Wait for it to do something. And there we go. So, as usual, I'll come back once it's finished this portion. Okay, so now that portion's done, let's restart now. Okay, so let's select Cynix OS V10. Okay, so yeah, my credentials. Okay, and here, of course, we have Cynix OS installed. And as we already know, this is based, of course, on Debian. So let's first do a Neo Fetch here. And it even tells us it's essentially it's Debian Bookworm with a couple of themes on it and some additional packages going on here. Uh, we're using XFCE 4.18 using kernel 6.10, which is an LTS long term solution kernel and relatively lowish uh, memory usage. So, first thing I'm going to do is a sudo apt update. We're going to immediately see it's pulling in from the Debian uh, repos over here. And let's do a sudo apt upgrade. 
and it has to get quite a couple of packages. So I'll let it run that in the background so far. So let's see what does this uh, OS have out of the box? What makes it different? So accessories tool-wise, it has KeyPass, uh, the key manager pre-installed. I mean, you could install that yourself, but uh, interesting to see a distribution have that out of the box. Um, generally not always included. Uh, a mouse pad, which is of course a minimalistic uh, text editor, uh, task manager. So of course we can just see here relatively low uh, usage, but it's not doing anything. Uh, under development, we have Genie and Meld. Graphics, Restore Image Viewer, Libra Draw, GTHUM, Document Scanner, Image Magic, Internet, Firefox ESR, Transmission, Multimedia, nothing really that's standing out here. Well, interestingly enough, it doesn't come with uh, VOC pre installed. I guess it's because it has the MPV. Uh, media player pre installed, that's why I assume they felt it wasn't a need. Okay, office wise, uh, interestingly though, you can, they've pre installed the HP Lip software, so if you need to print or scan to an HP device, uh, that software is pre installed. Yeah, you're either gonna love that or hate that, depending whether you use HP or don't you use HP. You might still have the same relationship, even if you do use HP. But let me not digress. Okay, settings, just the usual settings that you can see from an XFCE standpoint over here. System-wise, HTOP, Bleach Put, DOSBox Emulator, Time Shift, Zulu Crypt and Zulu Mount. Oh, what is this? Okay, so you can encrypt a, a volume path and uh, decrypt it. Okay, that's pretty pretty handy for that confidential information you might have, might not have. Again, it's already pre-upgraded, installed everything, and let's quit that. So, okay, what else is there really to show here? There doesn't seem to be too much going on. Let's see how Synaptic has been installed. Yeah, 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 yeah. More than repos, more than anything else. Okay, so we've got official compatible firmware. Other software is just the back ports, authentication, and uh, some developer options. I don't see really anything much in additional. So, how this appears to be is it's another distribution based on Debian. 12, bookworm in this case, where folks have gone and put some themes in and wallpaper and uh, put in some clever bits of software, you know, especially adding maybe image check, DOSBox emulator, hey, throwing in a HP, you know, look, and then they've made this accessible to the world. And, you know, I, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. I think almost one of the sad things these days is because there's so many distributions out there is how on earth to differentiate between them why is someone going to use cynix os instead of taking normal debian and doing this themselves well i guess if you're an xfce fan and you want a semi uh, understandable pre-configured desktop-ish type setup of debian 12 working relatively out of the box with some sane HD faults, then yeah, this is your OS. Um, but if you're going to go and customize Cynix OS quite a bit and add other stuff to it to remove it, then you might as well just use normal Debian 12 bookworm. Folks, um, nothing really too much exciting in this video, but uh, that's how it rolls in the distro world. Leave your comments below. Have you used it? Don't you use it? Do you agree? Do you disagree? As always, Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.